good evening and welcome mm -hmm. to Living mm -hmm. the Life. Uh, it must be a kind of photographer's dream, really, to be able to travel around the world and take photographs as you go and make a living out of doing that. Yes, uh, apart from also two different things, you'll make a living by <laughs> traveling. Yeah. You know, very often with photography, you know, it's like, um, uh, and not only with photography, I guess like every other uh, art discipline out yeah. there, it's like finances and uh, creativity are two different separate things. Yeah, yeah. Uh, obviously, it's a dream, as you said, mm. like if you can sustain a living by traveling, right? yeah. uh, make a living out of your photography, which is uh, quite competitive yeah. and difficult. Why Cuba, though? Because uh, how did you end up over there? You see, this, uh, it was a very interesting story. Uh, a while ago, before actually this trip I attended, uh, it was at the beginning when I started with photography, and I attended um, something like a workshop with uh, a famous London fashion photographer. And uh, because of that workshop, obviously, they ended up having my email address. Mm -hmm. And uh, later on, I realized that he actually partnered with a uh, uh, with some other person who actually was organizing a workshop, another fashion workshop that was going to be held in Cuba. So you thought you were going to photograph fashion, and yes. in the end you started photographing yes. a whole lot more. And quite a simplistic sort of um, view of Cuba you see through your photographs. It's not the beach and the glamour that we used to. Uh, even if you go to the beaches in Cuba, you know, Cuba, Cuba is a place where time is irrelevant. Mm. Mm. You know, there's no the stress, there isn't the stress of the, uh, the life we know as we know it here. People are more preoccupied with social media and gadgets yeah, and stuff yeah. like that. And uh, let's not forget that Cuba was a subject to uh, some uh, international sanctions. Yes. Of course, and, yes, and, it is. And the fact that it's an island, they don't have much of uh, natural yeah. resources there. Yeah. So mm. that's why uh, most of the things you can see uh, coming out from my portfolios, like uh, very old houses, old yeah. cars and... It really is. Uh, it really is a unique place, isn't it? I mean, it's one of those places that you could never accuse of being the same as everywhere else and globalization and all that. I mean, and particularly the pictures that you took, you focus on the picture of the people, getting portraits of them, and we've got some shots coming up, some really amazing portraits and pictures of the people that you took there. Did you find that people were, were welcoming and happy to have you taking their picture? Were they suspicious of you? How, what was the reaction like? People... Uh, people were much more relaxed. As, as I mentioned earlier, they, they were the stress factor, the, the stress factor mm -hmm. uh, we, we, uh, as we know it here, mm -hmm. uh, in our society. Uh, so people are yeah, much less stressed, much more open. Yeah. And, and there's a very interesting variety of people there. You can see uh, uh, local people which look like European, the class people, like, like it's such a huge variety yeah, of faces yeah. and peoples from yeah. different parts. Because you know, it's like uh, Cuba is part of the Caribbean uh, area, and uh, there's such a variety of people. Yeah, yeah. But the most important thing is the quality, the people's yeah. quality. And the quality of the life, life. Yeah, yeah, outside yeah. on the street. Yeah, it's like, We notice that in your pictures. Yeah. These people are in their maybe 50s or 60s, they look very healthy. And yeah. Is that something that goes, is like a thread that goes through Cuba, a very healthy lifestyle? Yeah, uh, you see, Cuba, maybe it's something important to mention, like, I grew up in communism back, back when I was here, so I found so many similarities when I went to Cuba, it reminded me how yeah. I was back home, and uh, that was something typical for the people in Bulgaria too, like, no one had a uh, heart attack, strokes, and that kind of thing, because it was test free. I, 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 I agree with you, I think there are similarities, and, and Cuba does stand out in the, in the modern world, it's one of those few places left that lives a completely different lifestyle. Yeah, as you yeah. said, they, they just don't have the opportunity to chase after the goods that we chase after. So they spend a lot more time with family, with friends, relaxing. Sam, I mean, you're a photographer. We said at the beginning, it's a photographer's dream to make a living out of it. Is that an ambition of yours that you like to kind of uh, from these from the photographs that you take of lightning to be able to sit back and relax and travel the world taking pictures of lightning? I think yeah, I, yeah. It's obviously the ultimate, um, the ultimate. Balance, isn't it? Yeah. Um, but yeah, I think that it, wherever, wherever you are, I think it's um, it always can be an element of a lot of work that you have to do to keep it up. So I think it, it's um, but yeah, absolutely. I mean, being on the deck of a yacht, uh, <laughs> pushing off their photos, and yeah, that would be the ideal. Yeah. yeah that sounds good. Actually. Yeah, I think I might be your assistant. Yeah. yeah so it sounds very nice. So look, stay with us, all of you. We'd like to come back and find out more about how we get in touch with each of you and see more of your work.
Now, uh, there are parts of India where theatre houses are fast closing down. So it's prompting some... Could you understand any of that? No, I couldn't. I couldn't. I got the gist of it, though. It's been a very artistic show today, hasn't it? it? Has We've had art, art on our VTs and art on our sofa today. If I could start with yourself, Shahid, now, and we're going to be hearing from you in just a moment, but if people want to get in touch with you, if they want to follow your progress, if they want to get hold of this new single, perhaps a new album that comes out, that's the best way to do that. Um, as always, YouTube, um, iTunes... And uh, generally, if you go to these places, you'll see, I mean, we've got a website as well. It's iref.com. Okay. Um, so if you go there, you'll find more about me and other artists. And I'll link to We're going to find out. Now, about the uh, Muslim community in India. Now, there are parts of India where theatre houses are fast closing down. So it's prompting some. Could you understand any of that? No, I couldn't. I got the gist of it, though. It's been a very artistic show today, hasn't it? We've had art on our VTs and art on our sofa today. If I could start with yourself, Shahid, now, and we're going to be hearing from you in just a moment. But if people want to get in touch with you, if they want to follow your progress, if they want to get home with this new single, that's the best Fantastic, mm -hmm. thank you. And of course, with yourself, Nikolai, um, if people want to see more of your shots, they're beautiful shots about Cuba, mm -hmm. a place which we don't know how long it's going to be around for, really, in its current form, really, because modernization is coming, despite the way we know it. <laughs> exactly, in the way we know it. That's right. If people want to see your shots of Cuba, how do they do that? Uh, probably the best way, the easiest way is just Google my name, Nikolai yeah. Mitchell. And my website's on uh, we'll the first page of Google. Okay, Nikolai, that's with a K, isn't it? Yes. Nikolai and Milchev, as it's yes. pronounced. Yes. Or, or if, if the viewers can remember, milchevphotography.com. Milchevphotography.com. Yes. Fantastic. Fantastic. Thank you. thank you both so much. Well, look, a big thank you to our guest this evening, to Sam Philip, to Shahid Kalahi, and of course to Nikolai Milchev. Opening us out now with his performance of Mercy Upon the World, it's Shahid Kalahi.